thermodynamics. So, in respect to the first law of thermodynamics, we're talking about the rate of change of heat through a system and specifically into a control volume through the control surface. So, what the first law of thermodynamics looks like is this, but what we'll actually be using is this equation here, which states that Q dot net in plus work dot net in in the control volume is equal to the partial derivative with respect to time of specific energy times the density times the change of volume integrated over the control volume plus the integral of the specific energy times the density times the velocity dotted with the end vector times the, the <laughs> plus the integral of over the control surface of the specific energy times the density times the velocity vector dotted with the end dot the end vector times the area of the control surface. So what this is saying is that the time rate of change of stored energy is equal to the time rate of increase of energy of the stored contents plus the net rate of flow of the total stored energy through the control surface. Talking about fluids and thermodynamics. Oh wait, that wasn't that supposed, was supposed to be there. there. So, our experiment to demonstrate this. First, we'll have a water bottle, or in our case, a Gatorade bottle, with a balloon on the top. And we will put it within some contraption that can contain water. Following that, we will then fill up the bucket with water. And at that point, the hot water we put in will be put changing the temperature of the system, of the surrounding of the system, which will then in turn create work pushing outside the water bottle, therefore inflating the balloon. Roll the clip, Sam. So as Mr. Yule and Mr. Monaco just stated, this is going to be our system that we use to do this experiment. What we have is we have energy in the form of heat coming from hot water to fill this up to do work on the control volume here, which will then push out and expand the balloon. So energy will be transferred into the system, which will do work on the surroundings. So and that's going to cause the balloon to rise and expand. So, cheers. science.